Oh, it'll take a walk from here real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's like, you in the Okay. Has been on for a while. Okay, feel under here. A little bit warmer under there. Yeah. Okay. Foot can cool down. Yeah. Okay. So you have. So I want you to recite to me what you have. What do you have right now? Like as Just far the as facts. the facts. The facts. The facts. We rolled up. Uh, driver was slumped over, unconscious at the wheel. There's burnt tin foil on the ground. Uh, he's drooling. Took a while for him to wake up. Um, what do you have wrapped around his arm? His shirt. Why? Uh, what would what would what would you think? Why he would have done that? Uh, if he you mentioned it, you know, if he tied it off, kind of. Right. Is that normal the, behavior to somebody to tie yeah. off a shirt around or behind the bicep? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then when he got up, he was a little lethargic. Mm -hmm. uh, would you say he's been apprehensive so far? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's not. He's, he's not acting like. Like a normal person. Right. Um, he's been down this game before, right? He's yeah. got prior history for it, which is not used against him for this, but it's right. also he knows the system and you can hear him how he's talking about yeah. it, right? Uh -huh. um, let's see here. Where's the keys at? Yeah, okay. All right. So can he easily put this car and drive and drive off? Yes. And it's in the door. Okay. So yeah. running through all those facts. Um, More than likely than not, I would say he has taken substantial steps to you have control over this vehicle. Who's, wrong, and, who's registered on this vehicle? Uh, that I haven't figured out yet. But well, this, this, right? this is the person being got in and on the registration, on the return. So, um, but dispatch of the RO and the advice is not to okay. So, um, And he said it was his car. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we can prove that he's under the influence. I think he's, he's taking substantial steps. Okay. So, do you think you have enough incriminating evidence that he is impaired? The totality of the circumstances between him being passed out with his stuff on the floor. That, I don't know. I will admit that's where my lack of experience Okay, so, so. I give him So, yeah. so you, have, you have different ways officers will do things, right? Mm -hmm. um, um, here's here's my take. Okay, so we got up here for a guy driver something of the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Get over here. The lights on the car. The fans on in the car. Yeah. The car's in drive. Keys are in the ignition. Yeah. He's in possession of the car. Yeah. He's got burnt foil on, on his feet. He's passed out. He's drooling. He's got his arm tied off like he just shot up narcotics in the system. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's a little lethargic in his conversation. I'd say he's 100% impaired. Mm -hmm. And I'd say 100% if you leave this area and he drives this car, he's a danger to the community. That's my problem. That's my problem. But that's something that I can articulate, and that's something that you have to feel comfortable with articulating. Right? Mm -hmm. Is this guy free to go? And when he started, uh, the reason why I walked around the corner because he started looking towards the, the trail line, right? Yeah. Um, so that that's my that's my consumption on this right here. So if this was me, I would not be letting him walk. I would be taking him to jail for drug DUI. Okay. Um, one hundred percent. And we'd be going for a search warrant. To, uh, to potentially, prove the potentially, right? You, you can all you can read him his rights. You can okay. go through the DUI packet. You can ask him if he wants to do a voluntary blood draw. Mm -hmm. He says pound sand. Then yes, the warrant process. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you right now, these are the worst things to do in law enforcement because they take forever. They're shift mm -hmm. enders. Mm -hmm. You're done for the night. If you yeah. take this this call as a DUI drug. Mm -hmm. Right. That being said, your name goes on the PC statement. Your name is the one that's gonna be contacting the judge and saying, I have probable cause for this person's arrest. You're seizing them, right? Mm -hmm. So. You need to make comfortable with that decision if you believe that those elements are met. No. So it's not my PC, it's your PC. So that's something that you got to come up to terms with, okay? Right. And a lot of this is just going to be experience of dealing with these things over and over and over. Okay, so um, if I was once told that if you feel like a driver is not good enough to drive a car because he's impaired for a sober driver, then he should be going. Mm -hmm. Right? Why are we calling a sober driver for someone that's not impaired? If he's impaired, book him. Yeah. Right, he's in possession of the car. He's got the keys in the ignition. What's it take from the fill that? In, it's already in drive. It's already in drive. What's yeah. it take? Why is it in drive? And, and, and he thinks it's in neutral. Right. So why is it in drive? Right. Up here. Like why would it be in even in neutral? Who puts it in? in uh, it's not. It's in drive. Yeah. So. No. Okay. So yeah, I mean, just so you know, it's the defense's job to articulate them being safely off a roadway. It's the defense's job to prove that he's not a danger to the community. Okay, that's their job. That's not our job. Our job is to find PC if there's a crime committed. Right? 
and what's a crime state? Where more can you, more where likely can, than not. Where can you drive a car in this state and be considered UI? Can you take this on a farm on five acres and drive a drunk? Uh, as long as you don't have access to a public roadway or in a public area. Anywhere okay. in this state, if you drive it, any, any motor vehicle under the influence is considered UI. It does not have to be in a roadway or even your roadway. Okay? So, just say no. So, um, yeah. So, think about that for a second and mm -hmm. decide what you want to do with it. Three, Paul, one, go for it. Do you have any questions for me at all? No. Uh, I have the two because he's taking substantial steps. He is in physical control of the vehicle. And based on my observations of walking up, I would believe he was possibly on and off from drug use. Sure. Um, it's, so now I'm just trying to pair up the dude, like yeah. if there was an open can. And he's, so, but well, besides, so, that, not, so but that's, not, but that's, that's all right, it's fine. It's alcohol, yeah. right? Yeah. Can you say, that you have junk paraphernalia in the car, 100 yeah. percent, right? Can you yeah. say that a guy who ties their shirt around their bicep? Nobody. That's on the knot. Mm -hmm. Drug users, right? right? This guy was sleeping and drooling all over the place. You drool when you sleep like no. that? Okay, not, right? There, not, there's so the many. There's so many overwhelming signs that says that this guy should not be driving a car, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, regardless of the substantial step of being in the car, he's already in the car. Our yeah. contact is why we're here. Okay. You have another citizen is out here that called in and said this guy's concerned because these guys passed out behind the wheel, right? Mm -hmm. Substantial step, yeah, he's in the car, he's in the driver's seat, right? Um, you know, so, absolutely. Now, if you want to ask for permission to, to search his car, you can do that for that too, right? You can see if you want to, with that paraphernalia. Dog, I'll definitely hit on that. Um, me, personally, I would just jack, I would take in. But, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, it's, it's something that you have to come to terms with. So. Mm -hmm. If you want to do follow-up questions with him and ask him and make your decision, I support you. Okay? So you, like I said, never let an other officer tell you how an arrest should be made or if the arrest should be made. You need to understand that it makes sense mm -hmm. and that it's lawful. Yeah. If you, if what I'm telling you, you don't think it's lawful, then let me know. No. Okay? No, I agree with you. With coming up, it's more likely than not he's under the influence of drugs. Mm -hmm. The vehicle, he's... Is he drive, but he takes substantial steps to the physical control. Do you know how long drug stays in your body and has an effect? Uh, More than 12 hours. Yeah. More than 12. Okay. So, so we should go to get a warrant for the blood and move that route. All these, and think about all these things, right? Mm -hmm. Remember okay. it in your eyes, what everything that you yeah. saw, boom, 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 right? All the totality of the circumstances. So. But I want you to feel comfortable with it, okay? Yeah. I'm not I, trying I, to, yeah, okay, okay. some sort of drug because of the foil in the torch. Right now you're thinking about your answers because you don't want to get caught up in a lie. And when you lie to us, that just looks bad. So if you want me to shoot it straight to you, that's me shooting straight to you. So I've been patient with you up until this point. So I'm going to turn it back over to Officer Tran here and he's going to tell you how things are going to go for right now. Okay. Uh, but I appreciate you listening to me at that point, all right? Alright, Daniel. Okay. So this time I do have a call cost for DUI control. I want you to face away from me. Okay. Don't resist. Put your hands behind your back. Go okay. and spread your feet for me. Okay. Okay. I'll explain to you once we get you safely cuffed. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.